Well, the bill supporters, Tony, say that it's important that this measure is put into place so online piracy can be tackled. But some internet companies and legal experts say the move is just a double click away from censorship. Kath Turner reports. The internet is full of copyrighted material. Every day, users upload words, songs and images that belong to others and share them with the world online. But proposed legislation in the United States over copyright could soon target websites that contain illegally posted files. These days there are a number of copyright owners on the, um, who are frustrated with the way that system is working um, and frustrated with the way the law has been interpreted that does not put any affirmative obligation on the part of the sites to do anything, that these sites have grown so large they can continue to operate status quo. The Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA, is being driven mostly by Hollywood studios and music companies. They found it almost impossible to stop people stealing their movies and songs on services like YouTube and BitTorrent. Hillel Parnas says SOPA targets these websites, but also the companies associated with them. So let's say a European website is selling pirated songs. The proposed legislation means the US Attorney General or the copyright owner could ask a judge to issue a court order to shut down the website within five days. They could also block PayPal, which processes the transactions, and Google, the internet search engine which directs people to the website, and companies which advertise on the website. It's trying to do something which is arguably noble in protecting people that own things from people that will be stealing it and trying to make money off of it. Um, what often happens though is it uses sledgehammers and, and shotguns to do things that you really can't do that way. Critics call SOPA internet censorship. It's been dubbed the Great American Firewall. Internet companies such as Google, eBay, Yahoo and Twitter have written open letters to the public and Washington denouncing the bill. They say it will stifle online innovation. Civil liberties and human rights groups are also worried. The bill is now moving through the US Congress with wide bipartisan support. Congress is unwilling or unable to regulate breakfast food for children, which has created an obesity epidemic. They're incapable or unwilling to regulate guns, which, which kill people. And yet they go after stuff like this, which is pure commerce, private interest stuff from extremely wealthy vested interests who are not going broke over this. The catch cry by SOPA opponents is don't break the internet. If it becomes law, surfing the World Wide Web in the US may not be as limitless as it sounds. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera, New York. Well, earlier I spoke to John Fedinich, a production manager for several major Hollywood films, and he says the Stop Online Piracy Act is needed because big movie com company executives are not the only ones losing money. I get all of these movies that we, you know, for screeners that, you know, if a lot of this is actually not even in the theater right now, but if I was to take this and post it on the internet, people all around the world because of how we're connected internationally right now with social media people can just start downloading and watching it and not even going to the theater to uh, see them there which in turn affects uh yeah i mean it affects big studios but it also affects me because perhaps a movie is not going to uh, appear to be as successful and then maybe a studio may not want to hire me because they felt like the movie I worked on wasn't as good as it should have been. So yes, it might affect studio, large studios, but it also affects me as a filmmaker. And it affects, and you, you can see this when strikes happen, whether it be within the Writers Guild, how it affects you know, someone like the florist or the dry cleaners or, you know, our, our transportation. And it, it, so it does have a, a, a ripple effect with many different people. The subcommittees have pushed this off until next year. What are you hoping the outcome is? What do you want this to look like? I guess maybe it has to be defined a little bit more as to what is stealing, what is used for maybe comedy purposes, what's used for fun. You know, I mean, this, this whole so social network uh, deal and, you know, I actually a couple months ago, you know, I recorded a friend doing a song for Halloween because he's a piano player and a former teacher and he did it for his students and he put it on and posted on his Facebook page. And so I think, you know, stuff like that is sort of fun and that is free speech. And, um, you know, reading the newspaper and I sometimes take, 
you know, articles that I love in the paper and I post them on my Facebook page to be able to share with other people and to allow people to also voice their opinion.